Welcome to today. We're going to be using hypnosis for you to attract wealth and riches and abundance into your life. So when you go into hypnosis, it's very easy. You roll up your eyes like that, keep your eyeballs up, close the lids down. Let's all do that together. Look up as high as you can, keep your eyeballs up, breathe in. Breathe out, keeping your eyeballs up again, breathe in. Breathe out and just one final time, roll up your eyes, keep your eyeballs up. Just close your eyelids right down, all the way down. Drop your chin and really feel that same looking down feeling that you might feel as you look over a balcony or down a flight of stairs. Keep your eyes closed, you are looking down 10 steps. You have that looking down sensation, the same feeling you get as you look over a balcony down a stairwell. And right now you're moving on to step 10 as each muscle, every nerve turns loose and you go deeper. You're taking step nine, you can see your feet, hear your feet, feel your feet treading each step. As you move down, Drift down, travel down to an even deeper level. You are taking steps seven and six, going deeper with every number I count. You're taking step five and four as each muscle. Every nerve turns loose, lets loose, and you go deeper. You're taking step three. You're taking step two, you are taking step one, just go deeper, drift deeper, sink deeper. And as you go deeper, as you go deeper into an awareness of yourself, every day your brilliant mind is expanding towards wealth. Every day your mind, your brilliant mind, your genius mind is moving you towards wealth moving you towards riches, moving you towards abundance. I want you to see it. In your mind's eye, see yourself with wealth. What does that look like for you? Do you have a beautiful home with gorgeous fabrics and beautiful food to eat? Do you have a wonderful car? Are you the kind of person that's using your wealth to do good things? You never really need to look at the cost of anything in a store. You can buy anything, but you know the value. You know the value of money. And you're one of those people who loves to share your wealth, who likes to help people who are less fortunate. And because you feel so good at that, about the good things you are doing with your wealth, you're attracting more wealth and more wealth because you feel so good about the wealth you have. And you feel so good about the good things, the person's school fees that you're paying, the people you're employing, the charities you're helping. Really use your imagine to see what that looks like, to have wealth, to share wealth, to have beautiful things, but to get true pleasure from knowing that you are doing good from the wealth you have. And as you see what that looks like, what does it feel like in your body to be free of all that fear, all that stress about where the next paycheck is coming from? See what it feels like to be so calm. Feel what it feels like. I want you to really feel that feeling of abundance. You might go, well, I've never felt it before. It doesn't matter. You must make it familiar. Feel over and over again. Feel the feeling of abundance. Feel the feeling of wealth. Imagine what wealth feels like. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it feel like to be bountiful, to be secure, to be at ease because you have enough wealth to last a lifetime? What does that feel like? If you say, I haven't got a clue, it even feels weird. Well, that's a good reason to stay here until you can make it familiar. Remember, your mind is going to move towards what is familiar while it moves away from what is unfamiliar. Your job is to make the feelings of wealth familiar, comfortable, known, instead of unfamiliar, uncomfortable, unknown. So feel it and see it. What does it look like? 
What does it feel like? What does it feel like to help out friends, to help out family, to buy your parents a house, to take everyone out to dinner, to pay for someone to go on holiday? What does that feel like for you? What does it feel like to pay the vet's bills for someone in your community who can't afford them? What does that feel like? What does it smell like? We talk about the smell of money. So imagine smelling and going, oh, I love this smell. I love the smell of money. You see, we can say, I love my baby. My baby smells so nice. I love my partner. I love the smell of their skin. I love the smell of my house. I light vanilla candles. I love the smell of fresh sheets. I love the smell of winter or the coconut smell that reminds me of summer. But why can't you love the smell of money? Again, it's because you think it's a dirty word. Imagine you can smell the money and you feel comfortable with that. It's a nice smell, fresh, crisp notes that you're doing good things with. We talk about the smell of success, the taste of success. So let's look at those senses. What does it smell like, taste like? What does it taste like when you eat better food? What does it smell like when you can say, I can smell the money? And what does it sound like when you hear people saying, oh, I'm so happy to pay you. This is the best money I ever spent. I love your product so much. I would have paid more. Spending money with you is the best investment I ever made. It's the best money I ever spent. I would have paid more. What does it sound like? And what do you sound like when you say to people, this is the cost of working with me investing with me or investing in yourself. What does your voice sound like? Is it self-assured, strong, confident when you're selling yourself to customers, to investors? Notice how you're speaking. Your breathing is deep and steady from the diaphragm. Your voice is confident, full of strength. Your body language is perfect. Your energy level is perfect and everything you have to say makes so much sense. And you stir people's emotion towards you and they believe in you, they believe in your product and you are outstanding at selling. You're really good at generating wealth. You live in a world of abundance, you have abundance thoughts. You have an abundant mindset. You live in a world of abundance your thoughts are abundant. Your mindset is abundant. Abundance is all around you. You are abundant. And while you're busy seeing it, feeling it, hearing it, smelling it, tasting it, it's very important to state, to affirm, to embody the words you wish to hear using a very powerful voice. Repeat after me right now on the count of one, two and three, say this out loud with unshakable, unwavering conviction in your voice. I am worthy of wealth. And again, I am worthy of wealth. And again, say it with passion. I am worthy of wealth. Repeat after me. I am deserving of wealth. Repeat this. I am deserving of wealth. I am worthy of wealth. I'm deserving of abundance. I am worthy of abundance. I'm attracting abundance. As I move towards more and more abundance, more and more abundance moves towards me. Repeat this, I am talented. I am monetizing my gifts. I am monetizing my unique skill set. I deserve money. I deserve wealth, I deserve abundance, I deserve riches. And I want you to add your own statements and you might be talking about, I deserve a pay rise, I deserve a promotion, I deserve my own business to be a success, I deserve my book to be an absolute bestseller, I deserve feedback from my clients saying, I love your product and I love you. Take a minute, make it personal, make it profound, do it now. Make it personal, powerful, profound. Start to say, I am, because the words that follow I am follow you. So this is how we do this. I am worthy of wealth. I am worthy of abundance. I am abundant. I am wealthy. I am gifted. I am talented. I am successful. I want you to say at least 
10 I am statements of your own. Do it right now. And you can add, I am so good with money. I am so comfortable with money. I am so comfortable generating wealth, increasing wealth. Do another five I am's right now. And now I want you to say, I am the kind of person who and I'm going to give you three or four, and you're going to add another five. I am a person who easily attracts wealth. I am a person who easily increases my wealth. I am a person who gets immense joy helping other people enjoy my wealth. I'm a person who finds it easy to discuss wealth. I'm a person who finds it easy to find joint ventures, people who want to spend money with me, spend money on me. Take a minute and just repeat five more. I am a person who. And let me give you one more. I am a person who is a master manifester of wealth. I want you to say that to state it, to affirm it, to embody it, to make it so familiar as you repeat it every day that your mind is moving towards you becoming a master manifester of wealth for all the right reasons. You do not have to be spiritual to acquire wealth, but when you acquire vast wealth, you often become spiritual because when you have so much money, you often begin to do very good things with it. So your lessons for today See it, smell it, taste it, touch it, feel it, hear it. Make a lot of I am statements, followed by a lot of I am a person who statements. Move towards it, keep it in your mind. Remember, your mind's job is to make your thoughts real. And your mind is to make thoughts of abundance, of wealth, of riches. Make images of wealth, abundance, riches and your mind will take you to it because what you are moving towards is moving to what you want wants you. So take a few minutes, go deeper. And again, just get into just seeing it, feeling it, hearing it, smelling it, tasting it, touching it, make it so familiar, so comfortable, so known, because while you are making these images comfortable and familiar and known, guess what? You're making the opposite, unfamiliar, uncomfortable, unknown. You're moving forwards, not backwards. Do this every day until it feels so easy, until your mind totally runs out of objections, until you are comfortable, familiar, at ease with wealth. Use the right words, the right images. As you focus your mind on the right words and the right images, you can't possibly focus on the wrong words and the wrong images because the mind cannot hold conflicting beliefs. It can't hold conflicting thoughts. It can't even hold conflicting statements. They cancel each other out. As you stay with positive words, thoughts, and statements, by that very action, you're staying away from negative words, thoughts, and statements. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, make this who you are. As you do this every day, this stops being what you do. It becomes who you are. And now you're winning at life, winning at being more wealthy, more abundant, more rich. Until next time, thank you for tuning in. So now you have a choice. If you're playing this hypnotic recording at night, you can drift into a deep, healing, wonderful dream. And if you're playing it during the day, you can simply slowly, calmly, easily, effortlessly on the count of one, two, three, four, and five, just come back into the room. Open up your eyes, take a deep breath, fill up your lungs. Well done, thank you for staying with me. I'll see you next time. Grow in abundance, because you're worth it. Check out my next video here.